Hey there, so today we have another review. This is a beer of courtesy of Mark. Uh, this is Stumbleberry. So I did the, oh, geez. I did the Bumbleberry. Uh, that's sort of a problem when you have position. Anyway, uh, I got it here, here. So this is a 9% version of the Bumbleberry, which is a 5% blueberry wheat ale. Uh, that's actually in the market, but this is not in the market. But instead they sell, they sell it in Ohio, Pennsylvania with the 19.2 uh, stovepipe cans of a 9% beer, which is crazy. Um, a little bit curious about this. Don't have high expectations walking in, but we'll see. Uh, I obviously didn't have high expectations with the Bumbleberry because, like, you know, fruit to wheat ale is, like, you know, whatever kind of, like, you know, so something that gets people in the tap room and, like, you know, more casual drinkers, blah, blah. It actually ended up pretty good. Like, I, I ended up li liking it more and more. But, again, a beer that would not chase after. But uh, let's see how the 9% version turns out. Uh, this kind of, like, purplish, reddish, bluish, <laughs> blueberry thing going on, right, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Same fruitiness. Um, I suspect it's maybe some amount of actual blueberry in here, but also a good amount of like topping note with uh, this kind of like uh, flavoring. Um, you get like blueberry pancake, blueberry pop tart, uh, blueberry pancake syrup. A um, little bit this kind of like um, yeah, just like blueberry marshmallowy esque. A little bit of sweetness kind of going on. Uh, though we'll say it, nine percent. It doesn't really smell like the, the base beer has much off flavor or anything. Cheers. Okay, yeah, there you go. Okay, so that's exactly what I expected. Like, so in the back of my mind, I'm like, wow, how, how, how could this taste any good? And so basically when you hit 9%, there's a certain reason to get up there, right? You sort of get Imperial Stouts that have this kind of malt base and the bitterness backs up it, the roast, uh, double IPAs, hops, 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 punch you in the face. Uh, Belgian ales, right? Like super high carbonation, dryness, um, big character of the, either the candy, uh, Belgian candy sugar, and or and on top of that, the kind of phenolics and esters. Here it's like whatever flavoring, the blueberry flavoring uh, there, and then it's like like a, a pretty neutral um, imperial nine percent wheat ale or something. But it's not even like a wheat ale with any like esters, phenolics, and uh, interesting flavors. It's just like. It's a big bruiser for beer at nine percent. So, oh my God. yeah, there's there, there's there's a lack of oomph to it, which makes this beer very one dimensional and hard to drink because it's alcohol and nine percent and blueberry. So like, just imagine getting that bumbleberry thing and just adding a bunch of vodka to it, right? Like or, or grain alcohol, right? It's just like big chunkiness of big alcohol. Um, you're not balancing it out because I find I find again like I mean again these these beers make sense as ABVs uh, the, the IPA balance has a uh, double IPA balance has a, the malt and hot balance the esters and carbonation and phenolics hit with Belgian the the big bitterness and the big roasts you know like big flavors sort of work at higher ABVs there's really not much to back up this nine percent back here honestly this beer is very drinkable. I would guess it's like 8%. 9%, well, sorry, very drinkable for its ABV. No, not really. <laughs> I'm sort of like not saying that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A Belgian beer is very good, very uh, very drinkable at 9%. This beer is like sort of just like one-dimensional at 9%. It is sneaky. Again, I would have guessed 7.5 or 8%. So you're hiding a full ABV for me, but it's still like one-dimensional. It's got this blueberry Pop-Tart, blueberry pancake syrup thing. And there's nothing else to balance it out. There's nothing really behind it. Some malt base, some biscuity malt character. Um, but there's nothing really, you know, to grab onto to help balance out this beer and make it tasty. Um, it's just going to get messed up. You know, I recently posted uh, the two-hearted hazy thing. No bell. Uh, I'm going to go somewhere around there. So let's go 83. 83. Stumbleberry. You're going to get stumbled by this guy but uh for me it's just like a mediocre -ish kind of like nothing's necessarily wrong with it well yeah there's no all flavors but it's just like lacking bout so until next time guys cheers